Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been taking a break from filming, so everything you've seen at the end of December has been pre-filmed videos, so hopefully you guys are enjoying those. This one is long overdue. I received the Cheers to Beauty palette, I believe, was it Friday before Christmas? So I've had it for a while, but honestly guys, I haven't really been wearing makeup. And when I have been wearing makeup, it's just my go-to's. But um, I did get to wear this on Christmas Day and that was really fun. So I have played a little bit with this palette, but most of the colors I haven't dipped into. And I want to full-blown test this out for you guys. So I thought I would bring you a swatch video to tide you over while I was testing this out. Also, if you are curious on this makeup look, I have a get ready with me. This is my birthday makeup. So if you guys are curious to see that, I will go ahead and link the video up in the cards for you guys to check out to see some of the new makeup products I've been testing out as well. Also, this is a new setup, so that's pretty exciting. I will talk about that more in other videos so I don't want to bore you guys. And I do have a giveaway going on on my channel as well. I will link that video down in the description box for you guys to check out. Anyway, here is the Color Grain Cheers to Beauty palette. It comes in this gorgeous packaging and it reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D Metal Mattes palette because it is like really big. As you can see, it's very long. And here on the back, it says it's made in the USA and is cruelty free. Now, Colored Ren is definitely one of those brands I discovered at the very end of 2016, beginning of 2017. And I love their eyeshadows. So I've managed to accumulate pretty much all their singles. I have the Queen of Hearts palette. I have two of the mini palettes that they came out with a few months ago and now the Cheers to Beauty palette. So let's go ahead and get to swatching. I'm just gonna grab the first row here for you guys on my fingertips. And there are some mattes and mostly shimmers in this palette. It's kind of a colorful palette. It kind of reminds me of what Urban Decay did with their middle palette, whatever that palette is called. And uh, I, I didn't get that palette because I'm not really a huge fan of like just all shimmer palettes. I bought the one from ColourPop and Sephora and I actually ended up returning it because I was not a fan. So here are the first five shades. We have Boutonniere, we have Powder Room, we have Rosé, we have Iconic, and Diamond Jubilee. Diamond Jubilee is a beautiful silver shade and Iconic is a beautiful like cement gray type color. I definitely don't have anything like it in my collection. So very, very beautiful shades there. And Rosé actually is the exact color of my shirt. So that's kind of funny as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna swatch the next shade. So we've got this beautiful blue named Opulence, look at that. And then we have Raise a Glass, Vintage Feels, Debonair, and Nightingale. So there are the next five shades. Let me just swatch for you guys. Wow. So there they are, super beautiful. <laughs> The one called Nightingale is a little bit flaky. There's definitely a lot of glitter in there, but it's a beautiful like antique gold. Debonair did feel a little bit scratchy, but it's very, very pigmented. So I think it'll make up for it. But you know, the Colored Rain matte eyeshadows are one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. They practically blend themselves and I do believe they have like an end of year sale or like a Christmas sale happening. I don't know if that's still up, but if you guys are interested in the brand, I believe everything other than this particular palette is on sale right now on their website. So I think definitely take advantage of that if you can. And then I'm gonna swatch the last two eyeshadow shades and the highlighter. So we have Grandeur, Black Butterfly, and Luxurious Bling is the highlighter shade. This green is gorgeous. And the highlighter is kind of patchy. Let me try and... So it's very uh, much a subtle highlighter, but there are the swatches for the Cheers to Beauty palette. 
Now I did have a request from my friend Kat to swatch the green and the gold from Pat McGrath next to these two, so I'm gonna do that. Okay guys, so I did grab my Pat McGrath palettes. I also realized that there is a blue here in one of the Pat McGrath palettes, so I'm gonna swatch that kind of over here so you guys can see it. It's not the same as the one from Cheers to Beauty. Cheers to Beauty has purple glitter in it. The one from Pat McGrath is definitely more of a true blue. So hopefully that helps if you guys have these palettes and you're trying to think like, should I get Cheers to Beauty? It might help to see the Pat McGrath ones swatch next to the Cheers to Beauty uh, palette. So there is a shade that looks like this in the Mothership which one is this? One that looks like this, there's this shade that kind of looks like it could look like rosé, but this is definitely more of a chartreuse color, so they don't really look the same, but let me just swatch that for you guys as well. Yeah, this one doesn't look anything like the shade from the Cheers to Beauty palette. And then the last two shades are going to be, I think this is Mothership 3. So she wanted me to swatch this green and gold for comparison to the Cheers to Beauty palette. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh, these Pat McGrath palettes. I need to go back to them. Not, uh, they're not very close. The green has a definite duochrome vibe on the Pat McGrath. I can see a little bit of purple here. It's more of a forest green, so I don't think there's really much comparison. I do like the Cheers to Beauty palette. I definitely don't regret picking it up. Color Brain is just one of those really awesome indie brands in my book, so I will keep continuing to purchase from them. I was a little bit salty because when they did those mini palettes, they went on sale like practically the week after, but this one, hopefully, it'll be one of their, you know, moneymaker palettes, so they won't throw it on sale right away. But, yeah, swatches turned out beautifully. Here's some comparisons since I know, Kat, you were curious. I hope this kind of helps you guys out in case you've been eyeballing this palette. I personally think Colored Brain is an amazing brand, so I don't think you'll regret buying this. But I do caution you because they have they don't have a return policy so if you don't like it you can't return it so definitely make sure you're willing to commit to this palette um, but yeah I will have a review up for you guys as soon as I'm done testing this I definitely don't want to make any promises but very excited for this palette I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day thank you so much for watching this video guys bye